guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, you guys have probably already read the title of it, but today I am doing a video that I've seen go across YouTube for a while now, and it is I am going to be showing you guys everything that is on my iPhone XR. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned, and if you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe down below, because chances are if you like this video, you're going to like my other ones too. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so starting with my iPhone, I have the iPhone XR in the color black. So the reason why I got it in the color black is because I went around Pinterest and I saw a lot of people decorating their phones with like these different stickers or printouts from Pinterest and I realized that a lot of them have like the darker phone colors and I thought it would look so cute on the background of black. So I ended up just getting black so I could get all these cute stickers on it and I just thought it was so much fun. So my case is just a clear case that I got from the Apple store and then all of these stickers I got from Pinterest and I decorated it in actually a video that I did a couple months ago so if you guys want to check that out I'll leave a link up here and you can see how I decorated and designed this whole thing that's going on okay guys so I just moved over to the side so I could have my screen recording right here and that you could see everything that I'm referring to on my phone so my lock screen is just a sunset photo that I took about two weeks ago and I thought it was really pretty so I just added it there and then once I unlock my phone this is just my first screen I have my Google Calendar which is literally my life so as you can see I have like all my video ideas how many subscribers I gain from day to day um, my filming schedule everything that I need in life is on my Google Calendar then I go over next to it is my photos I have a lot of like inspiration photos or just like different photo shoots that I've done with my sister things that I want to memorize or like don't forget about I end up screenshotting and save them to my photos because I always always check my photos and then I have like the usual camera mail clock weather all of that sort of stuff and then I always use my Google Maps for like going around LA then I have my lifestyle which is like things I don't really use so I just kind of group them together so I don't have to delete them off of my phone and then I have my Coachella app which I basically only use for Coachella so I'm just keeping there for like next year to remind me that I really want to go and then on my bottom I just have like the usual phone safari messages and music then all of my apps are actually color coordinated I really wanted to do that because I thought it was more like appealing to the eye so I just organized all of my apps by the color that they are so I have just a bunch of green apps initially which is like my life sum where I write down all the foods that I'm eating or calories or like if I want to lose any weight then I have duo mobile which is just for UCLA and my Spotify app which I absolutely love you guys should totally check out my summer playlist when I have that video up very very soon and then I have my snapchat you guys should totally add me on snapchat I'll leave it down below so you can check it out um then I have SoundCloud, my Yelp app, Depop. If you guys don't know what Depop is, it's basically like an app where it's thrift shopping. So it's a bunch of clothes that's usually used and people sell them on Depop and it's super cute. Always like good finds, something that you're not going to find in store. So that's always fun to check out. And then I have my YouTube app and then my YouTube studio app. Basically what YouTube studio is for YouTubers to check how their progress is going, how many subscribers, watch time, how their videos and their comments are. So if you are YouTube, you should totally check check out that app. Then I have my Pinterest app, which I absolutely love because I get a lot of inspiration from there or just different DIYs or even recipes that I want to try out. So I absolutely love, love Pinterest. Then I have my period app. So then I have Netflix, Pink Nation, and then my Pink Campus Rep app. Basically what that is, is where we get a lot of messages from Pink Corporations and they send us different like objectives that we're supposed to fulfill in the coming, I don't know, couple weeks. Also guys, stay tuned for a brown trip that I'm going on with VS Pink. I'm gonna record a video for you guys all to see and it's gonna be a lot of fun, so stay tuned for that one. Um, then of course I have Instagram. Everyone, I hope, has Instagram. I absolutely love it. And you guys should totally follow me. I'm gonna leave the app at right here and this is how my Instagram feed looks I absolutely love it I really try not to be so focused on like what my Instagram is doing I really try to not be focused on like falling into that whole social media cycle where like how your social media is doing is how it depicts your life then I have dough um, I just leave that there 
if I ever want to use it. I don't really go on that app so much. Then I have my Amazon Alexa app and then Discover LA. I absolutely love all of these Los Angeles apps. Basically what they are, it has like a bunch of different things that you could go do or go eat or go see. It's a lot of fun and if you live in LA, I totally recommend that you get and check out that app. Then I just have my blue to like black section on this phone where there's like Chase, Venmo, Twitter, Facebook, um, Photo Spot. Oh my God, guys, check out this app called Photo Spot. Basically what it is, it uses your location to find like fun or very like cute artsy places that you could go and take photos so this is like my area and just gives me a bunch of different locations that like i could go and check out so if you guys have an iphone i totally recommend downloading this app so you could take pictures in your own area you don't have to like venture out super far away um then i have my ucla housing app because as you guys know i go to ucla um i have my amazon direct tv reports like instagram follower reports because i am an ambassador for a certain company and they want me to keep track on how many followers we're losing or if we're not following someone back then I have my Instax share basically what Instax share is I have a Polaroid printer where I could Bluetooth send things over to that printer and print out a bunch of Polaroid pictures instead of taking the photo with the actual camera then I have Google Photos Urban Outfitters Camera Connect where everything that I'm recording on the camera that I'm using currently I could just send it over to my phone and check it out really really quickly then I have Polar. Basically what Polar is, is this fancy, fancy like editing app that I don't really use from day to day, but it's always good to have in case you want to edit something completely different like coloration, all that sort of stuff. Then I have my iWatch app, Postmates, Slices. Slices is a sort of like game app where you're supposed to make an entire pizza. So let's just play that real quick because it's actually so much fun. So like I'm doing the watermelon level and you just try to make an entire pizza with what you're given so like here then we have like the activity app which goes along with the iWatch and then this is my absolute favorite section or like page of my iPhone basically all of these apps is what I use for my YouTube videos or anything that I really want to put more effort in like my Instagram photos so Fonto is this app where you can make your thumbnails with if you guys want to see how I make my thumbnails in particular I have a video on that and I'll leave the link right here so you guys should check it out but like i was saying you can make a bunch of different thumbnails with here with an actual font so it's just like this font maker and thumbnail helper then i have vaunt which is basically the same thing as fonto but in like video form so if i need to edit something that's actually moving I could use this app called Vaughn. Then I have Tezza. Tezza is actually where I got this whole like wall of pictures from. So they actually have presets too. If you want any editing help, you could use that app. I have Over. I never really use Over. I think it's for also fonts, but I just, my go-to is Fonto. Then Huji. Huji? Hiji? Is a photo editor where it makes your photos look like they were actually being developed from one of those um film cameras so i'm just going to test it out on you guys and show you how it looks at the end of the video so then my next one is superimpose and visco guys i absolutely love visco i have a visco video that is out and you guys i have so much self promo in this video but you guys should totally check out my visco video that one was so much fun to make i did it with my sister and basically what it was just creating and becoming the ultimate visco girl mostly what i use visco for is editing all of my photos i have a bunch of presets saved so i could just edit all of these photos to look like the same way i have unfold unum unum is super fun because if you want your feed on instagram to all look the same you could go onto unum and just have like your photos already laid out and see how it's gonna look all together before you actually post it um i have prequel clips Pixar. I haven't really gone into Pixar. It actually makes really cute photos like this one that I'm attempting to create in the future. But in order to get all of those little like cool designs, use Pixar. Then I have Video Star, Moldiv, iMovie. I actually use iMovie on my laptop to edit all of my videos. And I'm going to have a video on how I edit all of my videos very, very soon. So stay tuned for that one. Then I have VHS Cam. So I'm just going to record a really quick video and show you guys all at the end. Then I have Photoshop Express and Photoshop Mix. So yeah guys, that is everything that is on my iPhone. Okay guys, so that's everything that I have for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. I love you all so, so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Don't talk about me when I'm gone. Oh.
Oh, honey, though our friendship ceases from now 